I just found out it's completely illegal to tattoo without a license. I thought, see, I never Googled it. I just started tattooing myself, and I just thought you couldn't run a business. You just couldn't run a tattoo business <clears throat> and, like, charge people for money a bunch out of a tattoo shop without a license and it would be like weird for insurance or something like you can't plump you can you can do plumbing work but if something goes wrong you got to pay a lot of money for it so that's why insurance companies only give insurance to companies that are have real plumbers that's like the deal but that's how it's but for tattooing it's like no you can't even do it like i think you're allowed to cut people's hair i didn't google that either but i think you're allowed to just give people haircuts but you can't run a business of giving people haircuts. But you aren't even allowed to tattoo other people. It has nothing to do with like the business aspect of it. I thought that's what it was, but nope. It's just, you cannot use a needle to put ink into somebody's skin without a license. If you do that, you, you can get fined and go to jail. How about that? So, from this point forward and for this point going backward, let it be known that all of my tattoo videos where I feature giving somebody else a tattoo, those were all fake. That was all just a joke. I wasn't using real needles. I was using dulled needles and I was just poking their skin as a goof, just a funny little goof, not a tattoo. And then they later, we, we drew the, the picture on their skin that they wanted, I pretend to tattoo it, and then they go get a tattoo from a real licensed tattoo artist. That is how all of my videos are done. I will not reveal my secret of my tattoos yet because I don't know if I'm, am I allowed to give myself a tattoo? It doesn't say that in the laws, because it's, but it's, I guess because it doesn't say it, then you are allowed to. Right? If, it, if there's not laws against, there's not laws for things. It's just the things you can't do that are written down. So if it doesn't say, thou shalt not give thyself a tattoo, then it's all good. And I never saw that. I just said you can't give other people a tattoo. So I'll tattoo myself then. <laughs> I just think it's lame because I don't want a dang um, license I just want to give my friends tattoos when they want tattoos and like my girlfriend and stuff so I don't understand what should be illegal about that that's pretty gay to try to intervene in my girlfriend like me and me if in my love life in my love life and in my friends even, like, I understand you don't, you want to protect customers from companies who are trying to give people tattoos who don't know that that person isn't supposed to be necessarily getting tattoos. Obviously, we want to protect people who don't know if you don't know what you're doing from you giving them a tattoo and then giving them, and then damaging them or giving them a bad tattoo. I get it. Obviously, we want to do that. So there should definitely be, like, certificates of training. We should have licenses so that if you want to go to a licensed tattoo artist, that's an option. Anytime you want to go to a licensed tattoo artist, you just look for the one that has a license. But if a tattoo artist doesn't have a license and somebody still wants to get a tattoo from them knowing that they don't have a license... What's the problem there? It would probably just be a less expensive tattoo, right? And that's kind of the deal. And it's like a friend. Like, what I'm trying to do is give my girlfriend and my friends tattoos. But then, technically, if I make a video of it and a police sees it, they could, like, come and get me? That just got gay. I have, I'm, re I'm questioning my entire skill set now. Like, what am I even doing? If I can't be, if I can't say whatever I want to to be funny online anymore, because freedom of speech, and if I can't give people tattoos, 
because gayness, then like, what the hell? But luckily, I was never giving anybody tattoos before. I have always just pretended to give people tattoos, and then they've always gone and gotten a professional tattoo to match for follow-up later. That's always how it goes. I never tattoo anybody. That would be illegal, and I'm not a, I'm not a criminal. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm against that. That's because you know what? That's not actually customer protection. It's not actually like tattoo customers. It's not like people who wanted to get tattoos went to Congress and were like, hey, can you make sure that only tattoo artists who are certified are the ones operating? Can you arrest all this? Because what they're, that's really saying is that people, that tattoo customers, that people who want to get tattoos were going in and saying, can you please arrest? And find anybody who's giving other people tattoos without a license like how does that even make sense that never happened they just pretended that that Congress the the cops the whole show the whole shabal of all the people who want control decided let's pretend that a bunch of tattoo customers asked us to start arresting tattoo artists who didn't have licenses and then they just start doing it and then they're like so we have a new law you're not allowed to do tattoos without a license we're gonna arrest you if you don't and trust us it's what you guys wanted all along what that's not what we asked for we just asked for some safety that's not safety you're just taking a you're locking somebody in jail and taking their money isn't safety that's the opposite of safety and then you know i don't know It's all the same arguments. If you're watching this and you already don't agree with me, literally go fuck yourself. Like, I don't need to actually explain why this makes sense. Because it just does make sense. So if you don't see the sense in what I'm saying, then you don't make sense. So don't ever come back. Because <laughs> I don't, I, I cannot try to, I'm literally wasting time even addressing you right now. And I can't keep doing that. So, thanks for trying. It's okay. Maybe you're a communist. It's all good. Go be a communist. I'm not, you don't make me be a part of it. That's weird. You're, now you're being creepy if you're trying to make me be a part of your commune. Ugh. It's a bad look. If you're trying to make me be a part of your group of people who throws people in cells and then takes their money if they give somebody a tattoo without a license dude go get tied up and whipped i'm done i'm i'm out so this is like kind of like an anarchist tattoo because i'm i'm an anarchist in fact i'm the anarchist listen to the anarchist spotify pod listen to podcasts Anyways, the Anarchist podcast on... I, I am learning how to do this. But yeah, it's, it's for real. Anarchy's legit. It's not like... People think it means no government. That's not what it means. It means the government can't arrest you for being something other than violent. Does that make sense? Is that better? Like, maybe there could be a government, but they're not allowed to arrest anybody or take their money unless that person is violent. Or a, or a thief, right? That's that's That would technically still be anarchy, just so you know. Anarchy doesn't mean that you don't have structure or rules. It means that nobody is above the rules. So if the rule is no murder, a cop can't go around rounding people up for smoking weed and being like, well, they're basically murderers. Same thing with all this. Same thing with everything. It, again, I don't even know why I'm... Go listen to the, the Anarchist... Go listen to... Listen to The Anarchist Podcast on Spotify. Darn it. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Anyways, but yeah, this is like an anarchist tattoo. But it's not an A because the A anarchist thing is a little played out and everybody thinks it means chaos and violence. So I have to distance myself from that specific symbol a little bit because... It's not just an A in a circle, it's a symbol. Like the swastika, it used to mean something cool, now it means something slightly less cool. The anarchy A used to mean something cool, now it means something slightly less cool. It's the same, I have both tattooed on me in a way. I actually don't, I don't have either tattooed on me. But this is like an anarchy B, because my name starts with Bram, 
and it's like my style, you know? It's pretty genius. I always liked having like my logo as a kid. You know, like I would write like a little symbol on the top of my paper next to my name, be like, trademark. And for the longest time, I, um, I used the Bluetooth symbol with a B and then a K coming out the back because my name was, my, my name is BK Bram Kennedy, right? So that made sense. Except then Bluetooth came along and ruined it. So then I didn't have a logo for all my teen years. It was devastating. But in my 20s, I found my new logo, which is this. And it's, again, it's super gay, but that's, that's why people question me sometimes and they wonder, is he? I'm not, but I am an anarchist which some people think is gay, and I get it, but maybe you just don't understand and you should listen to my podcast to find out how straight I am. I think everybody's technically anarchists. Not everybody. Some people um, really need to be whipped and bound, and they just... They can have that. They can ha they can find their little tyrants in their own lives. But I think like 80% of people at heart like are anarchists. They would they would never they would just mind their own business and never intend to have anybody else's business not minded. They just think everybody's business should be minded by them by them owns. But we all get kind of brainwashed from childhood to believe that no in fact, none of us even have a business. Everything is everybody's business. And that's sort of how we were raised. And I, have, I struggle every day with believing that I own myself and that I get to do whatever I want to do as long as I don't hurt anybody. But you gotta remember that and you gotta do it. You gotta wake up every day and know like, it's up to me. Whoever, maybe, maybe the government isn't suppressing you but your job is suppressing you, or maybe your girlfriend or your boyfriend is suppressing you, or you, maybe you even think of your child as suppressive and that that's who your ruler is. In any of these cases, it's very important if you wanna have a good relationship with the person that you view as your suppressor, or if, you are, or if it's at work and, you, and you're getting resentful and you need to leave or something, Try to figure out like what things you want to do that you're not doing because of your suppressor, because of your tyrant, your oppressor. I, I don't know what words are correct. And then try to do those things anyways. And if they start getting mad at you for doing the things that you weren't doing for them, then you can start to see the truth and maybe it's time to start addressing some concerns in your life. But likely what you'll find is that if they really love you, they'll be super supportive and or it won't even affect any of the thing. So that's that's kind of what I wanted to get out there right now is I don't think enough people who believe in their own freedom and their own free will actually exercise it. I rarely do. I'm constantly finding people to blame for why I'm not doing what I should be doing but you gotta come back and be like wait that was all me and it still is therefore maybe I can get one step closer to getting out of my own way and living my best life or whatever I don't know but the last thing you want to do is start blaming other people for you not acting and then that ends up being a resentment point and then you start finding ways to like control them as like revenge and then you become like your own you become a tyrant now and then the cycle continues cut it cut the whole thing start take find the find the people you're blaming for for not doing and then do it anyways and watch them congratulate you for being beautiful and perfect